Hi friends, it's Tammy, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm doing a follow-up video to my Aphantasia video. If you're not for sure if you have Aphantasia, go ahead and look in the links. I have a playlist, and you can take a quick quiz to see if you have Aphantasia. Aphantasia has been around since 1880. That's when it was actually first documented. But beyond it being documented, there wasn't anything done with it. There was no studies. There was no who else has this. It was just documented that some random guy had it and it was, you know, no big deal to them. So this was actually re-diagnosed in 2015. So this is, in medical terms, like brand new, basically. Professor Adam Zeman from the University of Exeter Medical School is the one who went ahead and coined this term and is currently doing studies on it. They discovered this in a man in his 60s. He had a cardiac procedure done. Prior to his cardiac procedure, he could visualize his mind's eye worked. After his cardiac procedure, it quit working. They have no idea why. Um, <clears throat> and this is what prompted the studies. They don't know if he was out too long, if maybe a certain area of his brain didn't get the oxygen that it was needing it you know they have no idea but this man got aphantasia from a heart surgery they do know they have done um, some MRIs on people and they have them think about like somebody's face or they have show them pictures of certain stuff and then they tell them to imagine and they look at their different parts of the brain it takes five to six parts of the brain working together at the same time to create a visual image and for people like me with half fantasia, it doesn't work. So, um, also it takes a lot of the areas of the brain to light up at the same time to recognize faces. And ours doesn't do as well with faces either. It's actually a um, problem among a lot of people with half fantasia. We have face blindness and they're currently wondering if <clears throat> some people who are diagnosed <clears throat> Excuse me. If some people who are diagnosed with face blindness actually have aphantasia, it's just undiagnosed. So aphantasia in general can be got through, you can be born with it or you can acquire it. If you're born with it, they're not exactly sure, you know, just this is the way your brain works. They're not sure of anything right now beyond that. If you acquire it during life, you can get it from a TBI, which is a traumatic brain injury, or if you have a traumatic experience happen to you, your brain can, or your body or whatever, can actually shut that ability off and you just can't visualize anymore. I think it's a way of like a defense mechanism. I know people with mental health issues sometimes get stuck in a moment and relive this bad moment over and over again. I can't do that. I can't visualize anything that's ever happened. So, uh, I think it's a defense mechanism to keep people from, you know, being stuck in that moment. Let's see. They're not exactly sure what this condition is. Uh, one guy says, well, it's from major brain damage. Well, it can be from a traumatic brain injury, but there's people born with it. I was, I believe, born with it. And overall, I function fine. So, you know, I don't know the major brain damage part. It might be a certain area of the brain, but people with aphantasia in general function fine. Um, mood disorders. I don't know if it's a mood disorder or, or maybe a learning disability. I have no idea, but it's been also been suggested that it's uh, on the autism spectrum. I think that they are not near far enough into any studies to put it in the autism spectrum or anywhere else for that matter you know like I said it was just actually diagnosed last year and they've just started studying it is a it is a disorder in the brain but I don't know that the people who have it a lot of people don't even know they have it I didn't think people saw stuff that's a hallucination right so uh, you know people that have it you possibly know someone who has it they just don't know that they have it and they don't know that you actually see things so that's a quick thing of a quick study, I guess, of what I found out on Aphantasia. I looked and looked and did a lot of research, and there really isn't anything. 
there's currently study groups going on there's currently college students doing theses asking questions uh, you know just survey questions and whatever but there was just diagnosed last year there's not a whole lot on it so make sure and like comment subscribe if you have any questions ask them below and I'll see you in my next video thanks